Do you think you can tell what type of person someone is by the inside of their car? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, me too. For sure. Yeah. So I, don't look inside mine. Okay. Well, I think <laughs> I already... right now, it's been <laughs> so busy. I think I already know what kind of person you are. So oh, it's yeah, okay. it's chaos. Yeah. It's organized chaos. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful mess is what my husband calls it. <laughs> but yeah, I've got to, like changes of clothes in there, food, like nuts, anything that I can carry around to kind of keep me going throughout the day. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> no with that. Okay, so we're starting. Hang we're on, starting. I need a quick drink. It's coffee. And we're mm. with Jesse Yurtza. Yurtza. It keeps I try to put I, <laughs> I feel like you're getting worse. Yurtza? It's Yurtza. Per- Yurzia. The Jesse. first time you nailed it. But Yurtza. you called me Jessica. Yurtza. No, I, I didn't call you Jessica. You're, do it with yes you did. When? Podcast one reverse. Oh, in reverse. the number one, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yurk. Sa. Yerk sa. Y E R pretend it's a K instead yep. of an X and then just zo. Yerk sa. But if Short I for pizza. have you ever tried to call yourself and what it says on like Siri, how she pronounces your name? No. Okay. But that's a fantastic idea. And <laughs> as soon as we're done here, I'm <laughs> gonna do try. it. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably have it spelled wrong in my phone. <laughs> I would actually love to see it. anyway. Okay, we'll so we'll you're look back. At it after. I'm you, back. We Thank will. You. We'll do it after. Yeah. Uh you're if you have not seen Previous, because mm-hmm. you're like the most, I don't want to say it, got in trouble last time. You you are the most frequent visitor in the Building Bridges podcast. On the podcast. Yes. The guest. The guest. The, the only guest. guest. Not the only, just the one that the one that to show up. Shows up more. <laughs> more. Yeah, but you know what? I have, uh, we have great conversations. Yeah, we Like do. amazing yeah. real estate conversations because you sell real estate in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Mm-hmm. She wins everything. Biggest team. Well, I don't know if you're the biggest team. Are you the biggest team? Uh, no, not the biggest team, but uh, we we produce. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk. There's no, today is just general real estate. Yeah. General real estate. Mm-hmm. How do you, what, what do you do in your day? How does your day start? This is all like people, have you ever heard like realtors were just door openers? All the time. Yeah. Yep. And I have. So you fall, I'm sure you get this too, but we put out the fun stuff, the fun side of real estate on social media. So people see that, the public sees that, and they reach out and they say, ah, I want to be a realtor. It looks so fun. You guys have an amazing time. They don't see the behind the scenes of what happens in the day-to-day and the minute-by-minute that we schedule of our days. Mm -hmm. And the fact that all of our days are different too, not everyone would be okay with. Like some people need more structure to their days. My days from, well, Monday through Sunday, really, because we're seven days a week. I think you are too. Oh. Yeah, non-stop. I think there's eight days in the week. Yeah, <laughs> I wish yeah. there was eight days in a week. No, 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 no. Okay, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm listening. <laughs> Every day is different. So I, I, I used to fly by the seat of my pants for the first five years of real estate. I used to that. just, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Uh-huh. Go, go, keep going. Keep. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> I used to every day just just go like based on what call I'd get, I just go take off and just tend to it. Now I try to structure my week a bit better. Listings on certain days, buyers on certain days. If I need to take buyers for overflow, um, I schedule marketing days now too, just so I have a bit more know of what's going to happen in a week and am able to kind of, you know, delegate better to my team members. But for the first five years of real estate, it was nonstop just flying by the seat of my pants, taking any appointment at any time. But days now, I mean, I would go to the office almost first thing every morning. I think that's so important to kind of regroup. I started doing that now. Yeah. And it changed six months ago and changed everything. Isn't it amazing to just have a little powwow with your people, regroup, like set the day, set the intention for the day. Why didn't you do it before? Because you felt like you were missing out on getting some stuff done. Why sit down for an hour and talk? Exactly. You almost feel like you're wasting time, but you're gaining time because you're becoming more efficient with your time because everyone then has a direction. I know. It took me a long time to I think I... I, uh, I I read that somewhere in a book. <laughs> you read books. <laughs> I read books. You Do you read me? books? No, I don't. no, teach me how uh, to read books. Everybody says to me, you know, you got to be read 50 books a year to yeah. be you know, super successful. Yeah. Like, oh, no, I, don't. I don't. Yeah, but now, like today's generation is different. You can listen to podcasts. Yeah. There's audio books. There's other things, you know, forms of literature available to educate you. But yeah, I, I read somewhere that to spend and invest that time into your team and just like figuring out the direction of the day actually saves you time instead of takes time. It's incredible how many things you can get done in that half an hour or one hour with them all. Absolutely. Yeah. Our team. So it actually, 
just this past calendar year, um, we do our team meetings, like official team meetings on Monday morning. And then every other morning, get to the office, quick little regroup. Yep, yep. Here's what everyone's doing today. And then move forward with the day. My days, I'm constantly on the move in my vehicle. Yeah. Back and forth, back and Me forth too, from the office. Yeah. Vehicle, yeah. 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 What does your vehicle look like? Is it clean? Uh, no. Okay. Outside or inside? Inside. It's fairly decent. Is it? Like I look at my daughter's, my oldest daughter's car, yeah. if she's listening, and it's like brutal. How old is she? 25. Yeah, but that's the age where... Mine is not like that, but it's not yeah. great. Is it organized chaos? Yes. Yeah. But it's do you not... Think, Go ahead. Do you think you can tell what type of person someone is by the inside of their car? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, me too. For sure. Yeah. So I... don't look inside mine. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think right I already... now, <laughs> it's been so busy. I think I already know what kind of person you are, so it's oh, okay. Yeah, it's chaos. Yeah. It's organized chaos. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful mess is what... My husband calls it. <laughs> but yeah, I've got to, like changes of clothes in there, food, like nuts, anything that I can carry around to kind of keep me going throughout the day. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Do you uh, block your days by like five minute increments or <laughs> 10 minutes? Cause... 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Okay. So I try, to, I try to keep 30 minutes between each appointment because they can run over or run under. Okay, so whoa, 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 whoa. You're not sitting at the office. Somebody calls you and says, can you come open this door? Oh, yes. I'll be right there. And then you come back to the office after waiting for and another. And just wait for another call. Call to open Hardly. another door. Actually, you know what? Years one through three of real estate, that is all I did. I waited for my phone to ring, basically. Really? I would put things out there, put things out there, and just like hope and pray that people were going to call me. But after that, if you're going to make a go of the business and your phone starts ringing, there's no chance you're waiting for the phone to ring. It's ringing and you're just acting on it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, it, but if the problem waiting for your phone to ring and mm -hmm. it rings is you don't qualify a lot of times because you're so excited. You're the phone so rings. eager. Yeah. yeah. And that can get you into a lot of trouble too. It can. Right? With a lot of people. Why? Um, and I, I hate to say it's, it's certainly not only females, right? That are oh, female yes. realtors that, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. jump at, jump at things. But you've seen cases, right? In the news and media yep. that, you know, it more so female agents that have jumped at a phone call. It's an expensive house. They think it's a great opportunity. They don't pre-qualify the buyer and something bad has happened. Right. Yeah. So like that, for instance, and I know that there's a lot of, uh, like, Extra precautionary measures that you can take as any kind of agent, male or female. But that that is that's something that, you know, has always been in the back of my mind. I guess see, I don't think of that. I was yeah. thinking more of just wasting your time. Also that and wasting as, the vendor's time. Yeah. And yeah. but as an agent, now that yeah. you say that, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Safety one. So how do you know what I used to do? What? My year one to three. I door knocked. Mm -hmm. You did. Did we talk about that last time? Well, what I what you told me last time was you got rookie of the year. And you briefly mentioned it was because of door knocking. I asked you where you get your leads from. So is that yeah. kind of what your I, first three years looked like? I watched a whole bunch of videos, mm -hmm. like everybody else. We had the VH test, uh, VH, VHS. VHS tapes. Uh, Floyd Wickman. Do you remember Floyd Wickman? No, you wouldn't. Eh? He was in the 90s, early 90s. Yeah. They were probably made in the late 80s. And mm -hmm. there were all these fake videos of what to say to get a client and yep. how to say at the door. Yep. And then I would practice these and then how, Salesman to, handle, how to handle a objection. Yep. And they want to cut your commission. Show them five pennies. Mm -hmm. Take one. <laughs> and all of a sudden I watched them and I watched them and I watched them. Yeah. And finally one day I broke them all to pieces. Yep. And I said, this Can is not it. me. I am not doing this. I will never follow a script mm -hmm. ever again in my life. Absolutely. So I went to the door and I did the exact opposite I literally would run it up to the door, mm -hmm. knock on the door. Yep. The lady comes and say, hey, I'm trying to get the whole street done. Here's yep. my card. Yep. If you ever want a CMA or you think of somebody selling, I got to go. I want to yep. try to get the whole street done or the yep. whole block done t t in the next half an hour. I gotta, I'm got to. i busy. Awesome. And you know what they would do? What? They go, whoa, 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 where are you going? Yeah, wait. Where yeah. are you going? Yeah. Stop. I want to yeah. talk. Absolutely. Yeah. Because so, they don't feel pressured. They didn't feel they pressured. They know that you're eager, you're energetic, and they didn't feel pressured. And the ones who didn't care yeah. said, oh, thanks. Yep. They appreciate it. Yep. So I would get blocks and blocks done, and I, I had no com I had no feeling of needing to fake anything because I would mm -hmm. literally say, "I'm trying to get the whole block done. Here's my card. Here's my yep. card. If you ever want, you know, what your house worth or whatever, let me know." Yep, and that's genuine intent. Like that's you. That's yeah. you genuinely trying to help somebody, right? Not trying to sell somebody, and then them approaching you because they need the help yeah. that you've offered. And I took ten seconds of their day. Yeah, that's awesome. So I, I would get blocks and blocks done. My uh, my mother. I think we talked about this on the original podcast. Um, my mother was a real estate agent 
award-winning real estate agent for a lot of years. So when I came into the business, she tried to make me her. Yeah. And she was door knocker extraordinaire. But <laughs> by the That's script, all we had, though. We didn't have social media. I know. I know. Like we didn't I have know. Twitter. We didn't have any other way. So nobody knew you. And nobody I don't. Nobody knew you ever. And door knocking works for a lot of people. And But more the script, right? Like door knocking, I think, will always work. <sighs> but I think there's people that can follow a script and people that can't. Yeah. And I'm the one that also cannot. Like mom used to make me hide in a closet. She would knock on the door. You know, I'd, I'd come that out. Was the VCR. Or I would knock that on the door the outside of the closet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come out and try to try to rehearse the script. And it was so difficult because for every, you know, genuine, authentic answer the, the seller or the homeowner would give you, you'd just like have to think back, what am I supposed to say? Yeah. And I think that's the worst feeling in the world is what am I supposed to say instead of what do I want to say to these people to help yeah. them? Right? So that, I'm completely like you, could not follow the script. Do you remember some of the scripts? <laughs> that. Have you or your friends ever considered selling, or do you know anybody in the yeah. nearby area that want to sell? My name is Rob. See, I couldn't I'm even get that smiley. far. i I couldn't even get that far with the script. I just... Uh, I, me neither. Just, it's, it's, it's tough. And I do, like, I give a lot of credit to the agents that are able to do that yeah. and be genuine with it. It's just something that never felt good yeah. for me. Yeah. I was not, like you, offer help and, and let people come to me for it. I'm not opposed to you reading over the scripts yeah. and thinking, okay, that's a good answer for that or that's mm -hmm. a good answer for this, you know, because there's some legitimate uh, questions that people have mm -hmm. that you need to kind of know the answers to. Get the root of. But the script stuff. Oh, and you know what we used to do is, because uh, we didn't have, I, I know people can't imagine back when there's no, people did not know who you were. Yeah. You there was no social media. They couldn't check you out, your profile mm -hmm. on Facebook and yep. and see stupid videos with no teeth on it. Hey, <laughs> <call me. laughs> I need an apple. Yeah. Um, you, we, we would get, do you remember the phone book? That's the phone book. Ah, what was it called? Oh, the MLS uh, directory? The, the phone directory yeah. by street. So you could open it up yep. and, and look up Emerson Street. Mm -hmm. And it would be number two Emerson, Rita Leblanc. Or Rita Legier, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call uh, Smitherson, yeah. three eight nine two two one one. That's wild. And then it would be the next one, number four, Emerson, mm -hmm. Frank and Julie. You know, Leblanc. Yeah, we're in Moncton. Whatever. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Wood, Wood, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't want to say anything. I don't know any last names. I don't want yeah. to make up anything. And it had their phone number. Yeah. So you would call them, and we That's would wild. call street by street and street yeah. and street, and there was a script for that too. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's crazy to think back and to now how much real estate has evolved. It's it's better for a lot of reasons, right? It's more efficient for a lot of reasons. You reach more people quicker, yeah. I guess, with social media and like what we have going on with the online world. But it's, it comes it's with wild an, it to comes think with a back. Problem. It does. How yeah. many messages do you get in a day, a honestly? Lot, a lot. And it's hard to keep track of, don't you find? Like across your social media platforms, between social media, email, text, voicemail. Do you pick up your voicemail? So you just got email, text, voicemail. Social media. Yeah, but what social, start telling me social media. Mm -hmm. Facebook. How many? You got yeah, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Facebook, Instagram. Graham Messenger. <clears throat> LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Messenger. So I don't even, I don't even advertise on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is more of a, like a professional global platform, right? For mm -hmm. people to kind of connect with with professionals, but I still get messages on there and I don't even think to check those to be honest because the only reason I really use LinkedIn is to link up with professionals for like referrals for military transfers, RCMP transfers, or really just to have a presence on there just based on your Google searches to show up. So it's happened to you that you get a message. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see this house. I've seen it, blah, 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 or, yeah. or whatever. And you can remember it takes you half an hour to find out, out where the message came where from. Where came from. Oh, yeah, Was 100%. it email? Was it this email? Yeah. Was that email? Was my and you just I start read plugging in into all of your search bars, yeah. like the name that you remember, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, if you remember the name yeah. or the number. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, that, that's kind of like the downside to, I think, today and technology is just how many different points of access people have. I know it has those downsides though, but you mm -hmm. can market a house. To the masses. To the masses. To the masses. That, that's my favorite part. When I go into a listing presentation, I'm able to look at Mr. and Mrs. Vendor and say, listen, like it's not just me putting your listing in a little book that 10 people yeah. are going to leaf through. Don't make fun of the 80s. I'm not 90s. making fun. I'm okay. paying, I'm paying tribute. <laughs> I'm acknowledging <laughs> it happened and I'm really glad we're beyond it. <laughs> 
But now I'm able to market your listing to masses, tens of thousands of people. Like when I look at, you probably track your analytics on social media and your, your marketing, right? Like as we should when we're marketing listings to see how many people are seeing it and where. Tens of thousands of people are seeing our listings because we push them out onto social media platforms mm-hmm. and different websites and things like that. And it's not just in your local market anymore. Like it's able to bring buyers from Ontario and Western Canada here to invest, which is amazing. We need that. Absolutely. And they're recognizing that. And I'm seeing a trend the past three years of a lot of people from Ontario and Western Half Canada. Half my clients are from there yeah, buying up here. Either moving back home. Yeah. Or seeing how far their dollar goes in New Brunswick and just appreciating the lifestyle here. The lifestyle, I love yeah. it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's our time to shine. We have great people here. Yeah, we, we are do. beautiful people. Yes, we are. Yeah. yeah. We have lots of trees. We do. And yeah. we have the beaches. We have beaches. Your lakes and beaches. Fredericton. Yeah. <laughs> we have beaches. We have beaches. Yeah, we have beaches. You have lakes in Fredericton. But yes. you've been to the beaches here, Shidiac, Capilari. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, on the yeah. way to PEI. Yeah, Prince beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. They're, they're incredible. Yep. I, um, I was going to say something. Oh, when we, uh, back in our day. Wait. Well, when I. We're going to go that far back? Yeah, we're going <laughs> to go back. Why is everyone making fun of me? I just, it's got to be said. I'm fighting it. Aren't you a grandfather? I, <gasps> yes, I am. Aww. Yeah, he's cute. That's nice. How I'm old? fighting it. I'm fighting it every day. How old's your grandson? Uh, he's two, maybe. Aww. He's cute. Yeah. That's a fun age. He's cute, yeah. Yeah. So people would, the only way you knew all the houses for sale was you called an agent and you said, can I borrow the book? Yeah. Or can you make me a photocopy of the book? Wild. And you're like, whoa, man, that's like 50 cents a copy. Yeah. You know, we're, <laughs> that's a lot we're of qualifying. Money. It's not just <laughs> Your running. commission goes up. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your price range? What's your area? Yeah. So then you would just photocopy between, back then it was 75000 and 100000 I'll go to one hundred and five, but that's an extra dollar because that's, that's two pages. Wild. You would photocopy those pages. Yeah. Like we were in line waiting for the photocopier because we had a somebody who was looking to buy. Yeah. Is it worth it? And if you're too cheap, you're going to miss your dream home because it didn't print, right? <laughs> <laughs> what if? But the social media changes all of that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it for a lot of reasons. I like it because, it, like I said, those buyers coming from away, they already have a really firm grasp on our market. And they mm-hmm. know, like I do a lot of video for my listings. So I find when a lot of buyers come through, they have already feel like they know the houses that they're going to go see because they've seen them almost firsthand through video marketing. Mm-hmm. So I really like that. It's not a surprise to them at all where I feel like going yeah, by yeah. the book and the printed pages is like... Your videos are awesome. Well, I love doing... So are yours. Thank you. Well, yours are... I'm going to mimic you a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to start doing more on the houses yeah. we have for sale. Yeah. They're great. It's Keep fun. going. Yeah. No, it's fun. I, uh, yeah, I just appreciate being able to put something out there and people feel good about coming to see it because they already feel like they know what they're looking at. It's a little, a little, uh, it's molding, molding with the times, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real estate's changing with- everything. If you wanted to give advice to a new agent mm-hmm. or well, like, what would you say? To a new agent? Can How do they make it? Like, how do they... Because I feel mm-hmm. I have a team, a little bit of a different team than mm-hmm. you because I have flips. Yeah. But I have an assistant for real estate full-time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a buyer's agent coming on mm-hmm. full-time. You have the same. You're bigger than me with a team. Mm-hmm. But if you're all by yourself. Yeah, solo. What do you, what do you tell them? Well, I, I can speak to this because I, I just actually brought on a new agent solo. She's not on our team, but she came to me and said, listen, I want to switch firms. I'd love you to mentor me. Is there any way that we could make that work? Yep, no problem. So for her, I sat her down and I just talked to her, just talked to her, gathered her personality and kind of the type of person and professional that she was going to be. And then around that, we made her a video, a showcase video, because you could probably attest to this too. The truest form of your personality that you're going to put out to clients is going to be through some kind of video. So we made her a video. She's a, That's where it's at. Exactly. But she's able to show potential clients who she is. You know, new realtor, here I am entering the market. Here's me. Here's who I am. Do you like me? If you do, contact me and I'll help you. I, I love think that. that. Yeah, I think that's the so best. So you would literally said, I would literally, I'm new. Yep. I'm new. Because you know what the script was 20 years ago, 25 years ago? Fake it to you. When they it? said, yeah, and yeah. I hate that that's fake it to you. That's what mom always said. Crap, said. That's the, actually the worst, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I, I get it. I get it to a degree. Like in, in some 
some scenarios that works, but why not just be out there and say, you know, I'm new. Here's who I am. Exactly. Here's why I am who I am. And here's who I want to help. That's what I said. Yeah. I said, Jesus, you're my first listing. And maybe I'm I don't so have any excited. Ex- 100% I don't have any of my experience. time yeah, exactly. <laughs> is going to you. It's going to. Right? And I sold it. Yeah. Yeah. But the script was when they ask you how much the experience you have. Oh, in our office, we've been doing this for 75,000 years. Mm-hmm. If you had all the years together, yeah. change the subject. Yeah. That was the script. People Boy, see you got a beautiful that. garden. You know, and yeah. people, they're not stupid. No, they see through that. You yeah. should. So you own should. it if you're new. Absolutely. Yeah. Use and just it. go out there with your energy and just yeah. let people know that you're ready to work. Yeah. 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 So that's what she did. That's good. Yeah. We should do a whole thing on helping out some new people. I've been, the years between us, mm-hmm. like it's, a, I won't, we won't add them up in real estate. There's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few. We should mentor some agents. Yeah. Some new agents, help them out. Absolutely. Yep. I think, Let's do it. I think between our experience and how we kind of have different days, but like similar strand and similar direction, yeah. I think we could help we a lot could of We could document the whole thing. That'd be wild. That would be wild. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. Next podcast, I'm going to, we should really think about that. I agree. I'm in. I'm going to come to Fredericton. You should come to Harvest. What's Harvest? Harvest Jazz and Blues Festival in Fredericton. It is the biggest. It is the biggest thing for Fredericton. It's our. It's our biggest event. People come in from all over. It's the best. So I come down. Yeah. We bring the podcast studio. We're going to do a podcast close, from yes. Harvest. They closed down Queen Street, which is actually was named the most beautiful street in Canada at one point. It is nice. Look it up. It is really pretty. So they close it down for all of the people to just walk. Mm-hmm. And no cars go through. We should set up a podcast. Let's booth do it. There. We can bring this whole set there. That'd be awesome. Bring your signs. We'll yep. we'll we'll do That'd it. That'd be awesome. We'll we do it. Invite guests it's on. on. It, yes, we will. It's on. Donkey Kong. We got to end there. Like, go. I got to go plan it right now. Come to harvest. See you there.